Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Hopefully there's not too much background noise going on because I'm outside right now, but I am working on my power bubbles and working on that live well cooler right there. And tomorrow I'm gonna go fishing and try to catch bass to put into our pond. I'll have that coming up later in the video. So I uh, just wanted to give a quick little tutorial on what I'm gonna do with the, uh, the live well setup. So check it out. Alright guys, what I'm going to do first is take this drill, this drill bit, and I'm going to notch a little groove on the top of my cooler right here, and um, that's where the air tube is going to go in, right at the lid. So I didn't want it any lower, I don't want any water to come out, so you want this as high as possible. All right, so you're gonna end up with a notch like this. As you can see, that slides right in there like so. And you can shut your lid on it without it pinching, so. That was what I was going for. All right, next I'm gonna take the drill bit off. I have two screws that I'm gonna use for mounting the power bubbles to the cooler. Uh, it can hold up to four if needed. I'm just gonna do two though. All right, so I'm gonna mount the power bubbles to the front of my cooler. It's gonna go about right there. That's where I'm gonna screw it in. All right guys, we got that mounted on there. Screw here. It's got these little rubber stops that scrunched it up. Another screw on that side. And I'm going to put these two screws in, like, like here and here, for these clamps to clamp to when I'm not using it. That way it keeps it clean and up and out of the way. All right, so these clips are gonna just go on right here. And they're out of the way and not dangling all over the place so that's about it um, I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow and hopefully I can catch bass and then I will transport it over to the pond so stay tuned Not a bad one, guys. I don't think it's going to be big enough, though. like the size I was looking for but I'm gonna put them on the string here and maybe save them for later.
There we go, guys. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't think he's as big as the last one. Yeah, 1.05. See if he's a keeper. No. All right, little dude. All right, guys, I need to set an alarm here. Probably for 6.30. Set alarm for 6.30. 33 minutes. Go get back on the other good side. Got one. Well, I don't think this guy will keep either. Hooked right through the roof of the mouth. Right where you want it. Let's double check him. Nay, nay, say it's probably about a pounder. Off to the dips. Alright guys, you know what that means. That means one more cast here. Alright, where should I send this thing? I'm going to send it over where I caught a three pounder once. Not the results I was expecting, but... I got one that is a keeper, and I'm going to go ahead and move them. Weighs about a pound and a half, and um, this will be a good trial run. See if that fish uh, can transport and stuff. So I'm going to give that a shot and uh, stay tuned and see what happens. All right, guys. Sorry about this next part. My GoPro chest cam cut out and did not record anything that happened. Uh, at this point and I really wanted to explain what was going on um, when I got back to the truck so what I did was I grabbed my my gear and I left the stringer and the bass in the water and I hiked back to my truck because it was kind of a long ways away and my truck was parked pretty close to the water and had the live well inside the bed of the truck and I went and grabbed a bucket and filled up the bucket and dumped it into the live well and then I put about 
half an ounce of G-Juice into the live well. And then I drove around the block and uh, grabbed the bucket again, walked down to the fish, which was um, a lot closer since I drove closer there, and filled the bucket up with water again, put the fish into the bucket and carried the bucket to the live well and put the fish in here. Hey guys, quick little side note I wanted to mention is I took electrical tape and wrapped it around these screws because uh, when you put copper on dissimilar metals, it tends to uh, corrode it. So I wanted to prevent that from corroding, so I put some electrical tape right there and it can just clamp right to that and it works a lot better. So there you go. One other thing that happened was when I went back to my stringer, a guy had already moved in on my spot. You know, this was like a five minute time frame. He was standing on top of my stringer staring at my bass. So, uh, in this next clip, I'm going to talk about that. So, let's go ahead and roll this next footage and stay tuned for the pond release. Well, guys, it figures when I go back, there will be someone right on top of my stringer uh, looking at it. So, oh well, he didn't ask too many questions. Uh, I. I was kind of worried that he thought I was going to eat it or something, which I'm not going to do. So, uh, heading out to the farm right now. Going to try to get there before it gets too dark and uh, get this thing acclimated and into the pond. K State rowing team right there. Row, 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 row. If I had one job doing that, it would be the guy who was uh, running the motor. Because uh, that would be the easiest thing to do. Well guys, I'm here at the pond and a big old fish just jumped over there. I didn't know there was any kind of fish in here, but um, I'm going to get this guy uh, switched over here, so let's get going. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower the water down quite a bit. All right, so I'm acclimating this water temperature here. See how close they are. It's a little colder in the live well. All right, I'm gonna give this a a few minutes. He's kicking and moving in there, so I, I think he's in pretty good shape. You know, no struggle whatsoever, and uh, he got transported pretty good, so it's a win in my book. Um, I need to come up with a name for this guy. Uh, I was thinking maybe Dennis. Uh, used to have a cat as a kid named Dennis. It seems like a good name. He's named after Dennis Rodman, so let's call this fish Dennis Rodman. Right, there he is. All of his stripes are gone because he's in a white live oil. Looking for any kind of marks that would help me recognize this guy. Not seeing any, he's pretty normal. He's got pretty dark tip fins right there. Or pretty pretty dark tip gills right there on both sides. So maybe that's what I'll use. His, his stripes are starting to come back as we speak. Now that he's out of this white live wheel. And give him some more air. He's breathing good. All right, let's go put him in the pond. 
So the reason I carried the fish over there is I didn't really want to transfer um, any kind of water to the pond. I, I didn't know if the pond I was fishing had a bunch of duckweed and I didn't want this to get a bunch of duckweed even though there's a bunch of form of grass in there anyways, but um, duckweed can really take over and make it hard to fish. So. I want to make sure that stayed out of there. That's why I'm not draining this into the pond. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see me or not, but that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, I got the live well drained out. I'm going to rinse it off with a hose when I get home. And uh, we got that fish successfully transported over to the pond. Uh, hopefully he gets acclimated pretty well. Oh, there's a ripple on the water right there, right now, actually. Anyways, I hope he gets acclimated pretty well. Uh, so far, it looks like he is. He's actually out there doing his own thing. I just saw him uh, get a ripple on the water. But if you enjoyed this, please help out my channel and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this successful uh, fish transfer to my pond and I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Uh, I want to put some smallmouth in here so stay tuned for that and I'll have that coming up as soon as I can. Uh, the reason I am transferring everything right now is fall, it's starting to get cool and it's not so hot. It's really hard to transfer fish when it's hot outside. Uh, temperature right now is about 72 degrees so it's perfect today so i'll see you guys next time remember get outdoors and keep fishing i'll catch you guys on the next red beard outdoors episode